All the girls have been asking me little secrets. Just really not expecting that. Hello? They're like that girl. Hello baddies, welcome back to my channel. I can't wait, I can't believe it's been a minute since I've done a makeup tutorial on my channel. It's been years actually. Today, like you see in the title, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I use on my face. I am not a professional makeup artist. I am just someone that enjoys makeup, enjoys applying makeup on myself and kind of have figured out what works for me, what doesn't by trial and error. And these are all the things that I use for Miami Swim Week, the vlog that you guys seen, if you haven't, go click and watch it, it's really good. And what my thoughts are, what I rate them, would I buy them again, are they gonna be in my routine, are they not, am I returning anything, what worked for me, what didn't. And this is the routine that I use for when I have events where I know there's gonna be photography taken, videos. As you guys have been messaging me on Instagram, what I use, what products I use, how did I use them. Here is the video, so no more secrets. I'm letting it all on the table, all for you guys to enjoy. Let's get right into this video and see how I get runway ready. <laughs> okay, before anything, I always moisturize my skin because I don't know about you guys, but I have very dry skin and it's just a lot better and easier when you glide on your foundation and all of your makeup over a slick and moisturized base I used the Tatcha the water cream then I go in with my orange color corrector you can skip this step if you're a girl but I do need to use it because I have a beard so I need to color correct this area this gray anywhere that's gray that's where orange is gonna go right there I don't use a lot I use a thin layer because we're gonna start layering products on top and you don't need a you don't want a lot heavy look Especially if it's a big event like the one that I went to. I'm using the LA Girl Concealer Orange Corrector that's really strong. So you only need a little bit. Then I'm gonna go down my neck. Now I'm gonna start to use the stuff that I bought at Sephora because I had my luggage lost so I had to buy new equipment, not new equipment, new um, products. I said for that I wanted to try from TikTok recommendations, I'm going to review it. So one of the products I bought was the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. My friend Carolina, who also has dry skin, recommended me his foundation. She really likes it. Here's the tea, okay? Because you know I always have tea for you. I'll keep it real. First of all, when I opened it, it splattered everywhere. I don't think, I think this is, a, I think I got a defect. I don't think this is really how the package goes. But the one that I bought just happens to be defective. So, I'm sorry Mario, but it was, look. That's how I got it, that's how I opened it, that's how I had to use it for swim week. The applicator, I don't know if you guys can see, the applicator is stuck inside the dapa. It's stuck inside. I probably just got a defect that, that happens sometimes, just my luck. So I'm gonna have to go back to Sephora and switch it out for a new one because this is like a mess. That's no way that this is an applicator. This stick coming out like that is not, it's not happening. This probably has a pump. I don't even know what it looks, the pump looks like. So I actually did underpainting first. So I contoured before my foundation and then I blended the foundation out. I remembered, I'm trying to retrace my steps. This is the LYS No Limits in shade Courage. It's basically a contour stick. Just put it here, a little bit here, my tip of my nose. But finally here, the temples across your forehead. It's not heavy, it's just, como se dice, pigmented. Just get a little brush to spread it around. I go up here and just kind of spread it up. And here you want to go down and up, spread it around. Well, the contour stick very easily applies on, it glides on like butter, like a, a stick of butter. You don't need a lot, you don't need to press on a lot, very lightly. So now I'm going to blend out the foundation around those contoured areas. So this is mainly where I want the most coverage because I don't like it to look grayish looking. And it's better to go light and then if you need more to go and build on top of it. And to go harsh, like a lot of product and then to take it off, is just, you, you can't. Now notice why I only like blend here. I don't go up into this 
eye area because the concealer is going to go there. And why do you need foundation under concealer? It's just going to be another layer of makeup you know more heavy this is a very sensitive area you want to keep it as light and smooth as possible ears i even go up to the ears behind the ears last week i also had a tanning appointment or a swim week i was trying to get a foundation that would magically match the spray tan that i was going to get about to get obviously now i'm lighter because more than a week old and it faded let me just do my eyebrows before i conceal around the areas okay one moment I did notice uh, thus with the foundation you see how I just apply reapply here around my mouth because I need more coverage that foundation when it applies it applies lighter then when it dries up it dries out darker it oxidizes this is what it looks like in the bottle compared to my face see in the bottle it looks lighter I'm gonna do my brows off camera and then we're going to move on for my brows is the Anastasia dip brow soft brown because ebony is just way too strong the new thing that i tried that i loved how it came out in the pictures at swim week Anastasia beverly hills brow freeze brow styling wax it's a wax that you brush your hairs up y como que se pegan como que lamination vibes you know it's to the other level like three dimensional i'm gonna do one brow and so you can see the difference between one brow and the other lightly dip it into your brow wax and you're going to coat up your hairs now i suggest I, I i think i should have done this first i should have done my brows first i just forgot uh brush up 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 it looks crazy right but it's gonna all make sense the ends you're going to colocarlo and put them down okay brushed up super nice super clean super laminated and this one looks like you know it's cleaned up but more natural vibes but this is like more dramatic you get what i'm saying now i wouldn't use this for every day but for the event that's what i did now i'm just going to conceal with what i bought at sephora the sai sai s-a-i-e sai concealer what's this called oh my gosh i can't see hydra cream HD1. I heard this through Michaela. Michaela loves it. Michaela loves it. I love it. This is the doll foot. It has a little pocket where it grabs the product. It doesn't have a scent here where we didn't put foundation. Actually, I should say this. One swipe is just not enough product for me. You're gonna want to swipe more. Now I get my damp beauty blender and I just go in. Then what I also use is the Rare Beauty Blush, Liquid Blush in Happy. Love this color, so, so pretty. You see, we haven't done powders yet. We're still on liquids. This is like the last liquid. I'm gonna blend that blush out, and then we're gonna harmonize the whole face together. Blend that out. I went in with a brush first because the Beauty Blender tends to eat up that blush. You're gonna put powder blush on top of it because you see how it just fades in your skin like eats it up then i've been liking to set my concealed areas with powder before i set it with um setting powder i use the mark jacobs i heard mark jacobs is discontinued i can't believe that i hope it's not blurring beauty powder and i just go in and dab that powder so wherever the makeup by mario product is we're gonna go and put some powder on that to set it before I bake just to get that blurring effect and I got the makeup by Mario soft sculpt transforming skin perfecter radiant skin powder in dark is when you open it it's a gradient it's like this like um shimmery beautiful bronzy light bronze that goes to dark matte you see, so you can like mix them together, you can use one side, the other side, whichever. We really don't need a lot. I went a little bit overboard at some week. Don't press so hard because you're going to get a harsh result. For some reason, I've learned that when I go on this side, I press harder and sometimes this side comes out harsher. So I've had to like control my hand. The farther away you put your hand on the brush, the lighter pressure you're going to put on your face.
you see how we're kind of contouring before we're when then we're gonna bake it all together and it's just gonna snatch that contour up it's one size ultimate setting powder i got translucent now we're gonna go on those areas that we set with powder we're gonna go and bake those contours dab on that excess powder onto my hand because i don't want the excess to go onto my face it's gonna get crusty and cakey you don't want that and then you're gonna go and apply that setting powder under your eye while that's on i'm gonna blush and bronze i'm gonna quickly bronze just a tad bit i don't want to go darker just to kind of like blend out all those um contoured areas that we did and just kind of dab softly okay we're gonna go in here go there sometimes i like to go in even a little extra on the sides depending on what kind of eye look we're doing kind of like sinks in your face now the fun fact is that i don't use a powder blush what i use for blush is eyeshadow i'm gonna show you with the blush go on your high points of your cheekbones in one of the nights i even mixed a little bit of orange because i was wearing an orange outfit if you guys didn't see um and follow me on instagram at i am king baddie beautiful darling don't worry if it's too intense because when you do the setting mace and more setting mace, everything starts to melt and starts to dilute. The product starts to get eaten up and it starts to like all melt into your skin, especially powder. Wipe that powder off and I'm going to do my eyes off camera. I'm going to show you my lip combo. You guys have been asking about how I do my lip combo on Instagram and I'll show you how. I thought I finished my eyes. Something simple, you know. Super flawless makeup. Hello. Excuse me. And we haven't done the setting spray yet. Well, you've already seen her on my channel if you haven't seen the videos my good friend lena she's a celebrity makeup artist she has her own makeup brand so this is lena zuniga makeup okay and she uses this on all the celeb clients that she has on red carpets child so this is what we're gonna wear since it's fitting for the video we're gonna pop these on and see how they look um hello do you see that this lash moment right now, I was not expecting. I've been had these. Lena been had given me these. Not for nothing. Totally not sponsored. Totally not because she's my friend. But these lashes feel so lightweight. The lash is so thin. You cannot see the separation. I'm the worst at putting on lashes. Not for nothing. But it's like not my forte. They're not uncomfortable. They're not so thick and big. And they're not so light like natural girl they're like that girl this is what you would wear to one of those events that's why she puts them on on, on all her clients this is what i should have worn to the um uh, swim week look and i love i love a good cat eye moment oh there's nothing like a good cat eye it starts small in the beginning of the eye and fatter on the out my favorite i was really not expecting that thank god i used that for this video this is perfect I was not planning that. The lip combo that all the girls have been asking me on Instagram DM. You guys have been messaging me about the lip combo that was worn at uh, the swim week that I had on. To be honest, it's not a lipstick at all. I did use a liquid lip as a liner, but the center is a little secret of mine that is not practical to the everyday consumer. So I used Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in sepia okay as my liner now what you guys don't know is that i like to put concealer in the center and then set it with powder and then put blush on top super chuchis you see that ombre effect hello you want to blend it and now set it stretch your lips because you want all the lines to get filled I'm gonna create a seamless smooth lip with the blush for that life if you want to put gloss you can put gloss i'm not putting gloss today just dab it on look how chuchis one size until done modifying waterproof 
setting spray. This will make you last. You could sweat, you can have sex, you can go in the pool, the beach, and it will not move. Okay, baddies, now this is the finished look. This is how I do my face for important events, whether it's gonna be flash photography, videos, press. It might be a little more than what the average professional makeup artist does to their clients. Obviously, this is just what I know how to do, what I've tried to do with trial and error, what I've tried to pick up here and there. Obviously, what works for my circumstances with my beard for full coverage. You know, if you're a girl, you're not gonna need as much. Makeup for Instagram and makeup for real life, like events where you're gonna be photographed, you can't manipulate the images. All of those things you have to take into consideration. Trust me, you're gonna have to play around with things move things around, see what works for you. I'm just showing you guys products that I use for Miami Swim Week, how I applied them. Let me rate everything that I use. First, the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. The name goes perfect for it. It really is surreal skin, <laughs> lightweight. It does oxidize at the beginning, it will be light. It will get darker once it dries down. The applicator that I got was just busted. I got the shade 7C because I had a suntan when a suntan, a spray tan when I went to swim week. So I wanted to make sure that it was gonna be, you know, a little bit close. The applicator was busted. I'm so sorry. Eight, the contour stick by LYS. I got in shade Courage. I definitely recommend. The pigmentation is there. You don't need a lot. It glides on like butter. Very full coverage. Loved it. I recommend to use it like how I did under painting. Not over because it's like really full coverage. I would give it 10. Definitely going to be using it all the time. The one size setting translucent powder. So lightweight. Super not heavy. Super not cakey. Super great for baking. Dab it onto your hand before you apply it. 10. Can't wait to get the pink one. Pressed powder foundation by one size really full coverage really you could just put that on without a liquid foundation for to go out during the day super full coverage super i love it super tense the side concealer look at how seamless that concealer was it's very light maybe i'll get a lighter shade if i want to like maybe lighten the inner corners of my eyes rare beauty is always a 10 love their blush i really didn't have any misses oh the makeup by mario bronzer i got it in shade dark i could use a lighter one but look how pretty it is you guys very radiant very strong, very pigmented. You don't need a lot of dabs in it. Brow Freeze by Anastasia. I'm still kind of learning how to kind of use it and tweak it a little bit. I have to see like a video of how other people use it because I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. But I definitely love the whole lamination look that it gives for events. I'm not going to use it for the everyday in my routine though. The Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Love that. Really coats your lashes really black. Always good. One size until dawn settings where I'm telling you, you think I'm kidding. I'm telling you, I sweat a lot. Okay, I don't know what I would do without that spray. Thank God. That's why he did that spray because he's a man and he probably sweats a lot too. I'm not gonna use any other setting spray. And yeah, that's everything that I use, you guys. This is how I get ready for my events. If I know there's gonna be photographs taken, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Like this video if it was helpful to you. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video I upload. Let me know if you wanna see more makeup tutorials. I haven't done these in a while. Don't judge me if I'm a little rusty. Let me know what you thought of my lip combo. I bet you didn't think it was blush. My blush isn't even blush, it's eyeshadow. I'm not over the lashes. I love all my baddies. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Mwah. Oh, and don't forget, we stay bad, so they stay mad. Mm -hmm.